Here we have yet another study suggesting that not all ultra-processed foods are necessarily harmful. The study included over 114,000 participants from the Harvard Nurses Health Study and Health Professionals Follow-Up Study who were followed from as early as 1976. And during the follow-up time, diet, lifestyle, and health information has been collected every two to four years. They found that those consuming the most ultra-processed foods had a 4% higher risk of total mortality, an 8% higher risk of neurodegenerative mortality, and a 9% higher risk of dying due to causes that weren't cardiovascular disease, cancer, neurodegenerative disease, or respiratory diseases. But where things get interesting is when they split the ultra-processed foods into subcategories. The risks appear to largely be driven by sweetened drinks like Coca-Cola, and meat, poultry, or seafood-based products, which include processed meats like sausages. In fact, the sweetened drinks were associated with a higher risk of neurodegenerative mortality, the meat and seafood products were associated with cancer and respiratory mortality, and both were associated with total cardiovascular disease or other causes of mortality. And while there were some associations between other categories of ultra-processed foods and certain outcomes, none of them appear to increase risk almost across the board like the drinks and the meat products. And this isn't the first time we've seen this. When paired with studies looking at other health outcomes like liver diseases or type 2 diabetes, it's becoming more and more clear that it's the sugary drinks and processed meats that are the biggest problems here, while other ultra-processed foods like certain breakfast cereals can actually be quite beneficial.